Welcome back to Shantae, Half Genie Hero. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time. Last time I completed the Pirate Queen's Quest DLC, and we saw the end of Risky Boots' story. This time, you're going to be checking out Friends to the End. Another DLC chapter which casts us as Sky, Roddy Tops, and Bolo. Pray for me, Burning Dog fans. <laughs> I think the four of us are going to need all the help we can get. Just for some uh, you know, reference here. Uh, Half Genie Hero came out on December 20th, 2016. Pirate Queen's Quest came out on August 29th, 2017. So, you know, they took their time with it. And then Friends to the End came out almost a year after the original game on December 12th, 2017. Neat. Friends to the end. Oh, I like that. Gather round, kids. It's time to test out my latest invention. This seems oddly familiar somehow. I call it the Dynamo. What's it do, Uncle? I'll demonstrate. Watch closely. Ta-da! See those crystals up top? One is made of dark magic, and the other is made of light magic. When brought together, the crystals generate energy, which this machine collects and stores for future use. Huh? Oh, now he does have a voice. Look at that. What? Uh. He means it makes electricity. Precisely! What's the electricity used for, Uncle? Why, to help you protect Scuttletown, of course. We'll use this contraption to light up the town all day and night. 24 hours a day to keep pirates at bay. I think you might be thinking of vampires, Mimic. Uh, pirates don't care about the lighting conditions. Gosh, you think this could really work? Of course it will! I followed the blueprints to the letter! Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of that! Look out. It's going to... What happened? <laughs> it's you. Oh no, it's Queen of the Seven Seas. Risky Boots. Who would have imagined that she would show up? So I guess the Tinker Bats are getting the crane in position right now, huh? Also, I guess there's a, a hole in the ceiling. I've just suddenly thought of that to make the vertical leaps possible. Sorry to drop in unannounced, but it's time I give you all a demonstration of my own. Keep your eyes on the half-genie brat! Oh dear. W what did you do to her? Isn't it lovely? I've inverted her magic! But the machine wasn't designed for such a purpose! How could... Fool, don't you see? You were building my machine all along. You inhuman fiend! You switched the blueprints on me! <laughs> don't look so glum. What you've built for me is so much better. You see? I can turn anything I want from good into evil. They totally reused that line from Pirate Queen's Quest, and I don't mind. And my next target will be the biggest source of light magic in the entire world. The Genie Realm. No! Do that and you will drown Sequinland in utter darkness! Ha! Now you're getting the picture! I'm off to destroy the world as you know it. Have fun with your ill-tempered genie brat. Can't let her go through with it. We've got to do something. What can we do? <laughs> oh dear. 
We didn't do this one in the, uh, the risky intro. Hey, sorry about that. I know what you can do. You can suffer and squirm like the pathetic maggots you are. Wallow in torment forever in oblivion. Shante's turned pure evil. No! Take cover! Hit the dirt! Die! I'll destroy you all! Oh no. Oh, that's so much cooler than it was the first time. Oh. What in the world happened? Uh, Shantae turned into a singularity, apparently. Hmm. The dark magic must have overloaded her body. She's been knocked unconscious. I did wonder why everyone was still alive after the, you know, die like the maggots you are line. And then cutting inside Shantae's mind and back out again. I kind of figured the town would be wrecked at that point. What do we do now? Yeah, we can't just leave her like this. Just a moment. Perhaps we can use this opportunity to help Shantae before she wakes up. There, you see that? The dark magic that exploded out of her body. Some force is drawing it back in. Call me crazy, but I bet one of us could enter that vortex and try to rescue her from the inside. Assuming the good Shantae is trapped somewhere in there, one of us could make contact and bring her back. Mister, you are crazy. Even if it works, who knows what evil lurks inside her corrupted mind. If we provoke her, she could destroy us with a single thought. It's worth a shot. Where does he get that from? And I've never seen him use it. I'll go. If it'll help Shantae... Yeah, what he said. Ugh, Bolo. <laughs> you? No offense, Bolo, but we're trying to save her, not make things worse. I suppose you think you should go? Who died and made you boss crew? Why does she talk like a mechanic anyway? I should be the one! Oh yes, we're going to let you into Shantae's brain. That's a fantastic idea. Uh. Boom! Oh no, I'm on the same wavelength as Bolo. What does this mean? Oh god. <laughs> a zombie? No way. You're the last person Shantae would want inside her brain. She'd like it the most, because I like her brain the most. Stop it! Stop arguing, you three, you three, or you're going to... No! Wait! Oops. Huh? I feel like Mimic said one of you, or one of us, for a reason. How did I not notice the stars before fading in and out of the text boxes? Huh. Embarrassing. Is this... Are we inside her mind? Looks like a storm. More like a nightmare. Blast it all! Now I'm stuck out here by myself. What am I gonna do if she wakes up? Fend her off with a broom handle? Uh, sounds like you kids made it in anyway. Yes, we're here, inside Shantae's mind. I call it the Nightmare Realm. Who cares what you call it? <laughs> Listen, you've got to find Shantae before it's too late. Right, you can count on me. You two wait here. I can handle this myself. No way, hero stuff is my jam. I'm going. I say we split up. You two slowpokes will just get in my way. Listen up, you kids. Teamwork! That's the only way you'll be able to help her. By working together. Uh. Grumble. <laughs> uh. Trust these two numbskulls. Hey, I thought you liked Bolo more than that. I didn't think you had any opinion of his abilities. I thought you liked him as a person. Uh, okay, I guess. I know you can do it. May your bonds of friendship be as strong as steel. Good luck. Listen up, kids. To survive Shantae's twisted memories, you three will need to work together as a team. 
First, let's learn about Bolo. I'm glad about this, because they didn't include any kind of uh, tutorial in uh, Pirate Queen's Quest. I had to guess what the buttons were. <laughs> First, let's learn about Bolo. Bolo can fire his Spring Claw to grab onto pegs. Use the Spring Claw by pressing Y. Holding up will aim the claw directly upwards. Once Bolo is latched onto the peg, he can swing about freely and jump off at any time. Go ahead, give it a shot. So if I just press Y, it goes off at an angle. Oh, this looks silly. Nice. Bolo can use his melee attack to destroy cracked blocks. Go ahead, smashy smashy! Straightforward enough. Bolo can grapple to both pegs and rings. When firing Bolo's spring claw, it will default to a forward angle. This makes it easy to get him swinging back and forth. Shorten or lengthen the chain by pressing up or down. Oh, okay. With a longer chain, Bolo can jump a greater distance. Give it a try! I thought the chain was getting longer. Oh, I grabbed it. Great! Can't uh, count crouch walk as uh, him, either. Well, he finally uses this thing. I'm gonna level with you. I'm very surprised they didn't give him, you know, a bolo. Like, the weapon. I guess it is a throwing weapon, but still. Next, let's learn about Roddy Tops. Roddy can throw her head through nightmare energy and similar barriers. I guess being dead, that wouldn't be a problem. Press and hold Y to put Roddy Tops in throw mode. Release to toss her head. She will reform anywhere her head safely lands. Try it out. I didn't think she had any, uh, stitches on her neck, but, uh... It could be... Oh, jeez. I do like the teetering. Oh. Oh, I guess it's just if you can going for a while. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Roddy Tops can throw her head at any angle to match the situation. Or at fixed angles by using the D-pad. Or free aim by using the L. Or the left stick. Give it a shot. Okay, and here's free aiming. I am curious. Why can't... If you... If, why doesn't... Why can't, can't I just... No, I didn't think so. But I don't understand why, if her head can go through all fine. Uh, there. It's very dark here. Use Roddy's head to... Uh, sorry, use Roddy's head toss to move through soft surfaces, such as thin platforms. Please note that you can cancel a throw by pressing any available face button. Good luck. Confirmed. I don't think that one made any sense, but I'm going to go with it. I mean, this is a coffee-drinking zombie, after all. Finally, let's learn about Sky! Press Y to toss one of Sky's eggs. That seems rude. Press Y while the egg is airborne to hatch a hover bird for Sky to stand on. Use this ability to jump across wide gaps. Go ahead and try it. Oh, fuck! Uh, apparently she has a glide move that threw me off, because I held A. Thanks, wrench. That's not the correct button. Why don't I think it was A? Ooh, I don't like the timing on that. When tossing eggs, Sky will default to a forward toss. However, holding up allows her to toss vertically. Remember that Sky's bird platforms will not disappear as long as she's standing on them. Oh, okay. Go on and show off your vertical toss. Oh, holding up, not holding Y. Duh. I don't know why I did that. That didn't help. Actually, let me uh, confirm that other thing. No, too high. Dang it! Oh, 
I like that stance when she's on the bird. Oh no, that's just her stance, okay. I guess she has multiples. Uh, the sky can make longer jumps by using her friend Wrench as a glider. I knew that was Wrench. Jump and hold A to glide using Wrench. It's like the level one hat. Teamwork is often the key to victory. Uh, the pirate hat from uh, Pirate Queen's Quest, if you didn't watch that series. It also had a gliding ability. Uh, teamwork is often the key to victory. Determine who's best for the job and put that hero to good use. Switch between heroes by pressing left bumper and right bumper. Oh no, health. Alright, so I guess... No, oh, too far. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I hit that, or if it, like, when you're in midair, it magnetizes towards these things, or what? Sometimes two heroes will need to work together. Try making a hoverbird platform using Sky and have a different hero ride it. Solve this puzzle and show off your teamwork. Okay, still doesn't fade if I'm Roddy Tops. Good. Oh, hey, sorry about that, birdie. <laughs> Zombie jumping through your body and all that. That must be very unpleasant. One last thing. Listen closely. Each of you has a special move that consumes dream magic. Bolo can throw bouncing spike balls. Roddy Tops can regain health. Sky can summon protective birds that orbit her body. <laughs> That's silly. Try these moves out by pressing B. Good luck, and remember, use teamwork. Okay, I guess I'm not damaged, so... Noted. How did I know? Wait, I thought she didn't eat brains. I thought that was why she drank coffee. Deploy. Oh my god, it's like spike ball, or pike ball, rather. Oh, I like that, all three of them. And they're all talking at once, and Save Gnome's trying to write it all down. Where are we? Hey. This looks like the other day, when Risky Boots attacked. Don't you see? Oh, oh! We're inside her mind, so it's only natural that we'd be experiencing her memories. So this is her brain, eh? Oh, dear God. Does anybody have a newspaper? Ooh, such torture, zombie cruelty. It's like going to an all-you-can-eat buffet with no spoon. Shh, let me think. After I dropped her off, Shantae chased Risky's Tinker Bat crewman all over town. That was all a distraction, so she could swap the blueprints without being seen. Then let's hurry. If we're quick, maybe we can keep it from happening. Yeah, then everything will be back to normal. Ugh! Numbskulls. This isn't time travel, you lame brains! Changing the outcome in here won't have any effect on the outside world. The point I'm trying to make is that we know where Shantae will be. Therefore, we can head her off and force a confrontation. <laughs> oh. Just leave the thinking to me, okay? <laughs> Whatever. I don't remember Sky being so bossy in the other games. Here's egg in your face. Oh god. Oh. Oh, she just throws. I'm sorry? Did that cannonball have a crab in it? Excellent. Was there a maximum? For the gems, I mean? I'm, mi I'm very mildly disappointed that, uh... I'm very mildly disappointed that the bird does not grab the gems on the way back to me. It's... Oh, it's just her leg. <laughs> she 
she pulls it off and swings it at him. That's very silly. Oh, I see. That's way too far. That's way too low. Eh. That's not the correct button. Alrighty, just hold A. I was overthinking it. My bad. I can't throw eggs from the water. Fine. I figured the, uh, the supports are there to give you a hint on that. Put it right where the other one used to be. Oh. Oh, they have different uh, dream magic levels. That's good. Eat several dicks! What the fuck? Well, it's a squid, I can see that. But it's not one of the old heart squids. And now that I look up in the corner, I notice, uh... Well, those three outlines are very interesting to me. Ah! Get it off, get it off, get it off! I don't know why I did that. Just find out if I could, maybe? Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I guess this has been the premiere episode of Let's Play Friends to the End, the DLC chapter for Shantae, Half-Genie Hero. I'll see you guys uh, next time when we use uh, a platform bird to get up there and see if we can't get our hands on it. Find out what's up with the little squid friend. Later, Burning Dog fans!